towering evergreen shelter you sleep in the breeze meadow larks will sing to you hold your head up darling only God knows where you're going pull yourself together lovely puzzles sometimes fall apart Yeah.
2012 for her birthday, Anne organized a trip with some girlfriends to Sorrento. They headed out to a foam party to celebrate. Ryan happened to be in Sorrento to help us with the carpentry job. That evening, his friend was super keen to go to the foam party. Ryan, much more interested in fishing, took a little persuading, but went along. Luckily, at this foam party, Ryan was able to procure the biggest catch of his life. <laughs> he spotted her, she spotted him, and with a little help from a certain bridesmaid, they got to chatting. Both keen to exchange numbers, they hunted for a pen, as phone parties and mobile phones don't exactly go. Apparently neither do pens or paper. So once the club was closed, they went to Ryan's car and he gave his phone to Anne to enter her number. The conversation was flowing and the night still young-ish. So they headed to the beach near Anne's accommodation and chatted for hours. Anne's friends were keeping an eye on her from afar just in case. Eventually it was time to say goodbye and Ryan promised to call. He drove away in his friend's Lancer and it was only at this point that Anne realised in sadness that she'd forgotten to actually put her number into Ryan's phone. Gutted was an understatement. She'd never felt a spark like this with anyone else. Luckily, Ryan, now 40 minutes away, also realised this. He made his friend turn around and head back to the apartment block. Only there were hundreds of apartments and he had no idea which one. So they used what they had and sat in the Lancer revving the engine, no doubt annoying the whole neighbourhood. One of Anne's friends recognised the engine sound and the girls came running out. The knight in shiny Lancer got the number and today will get to marry his soulmate. The proposal was just as good a story with Ryan doing his best to make everything perfect. Five years later on, on another one of Anne's birthday parties, Ryan was running around helping to organise her party. His jobs were to pick up the cake and the balloons, but unbeknown to Anne, he also needed to fit in a quick visit to Anne's parents to ask for their blessing, as well as pick up for the ring. He was receiving some serious grief for not being where he should be. Ryan totally made up for it later on when the party was in full swing. He dropped to one knee with a ring. Not many words came out, but the only words that mattered was a yes from Anne, and that is what brings us all here today. Marriage is a big step in the lives of any couple. It is promising to support each other in the good times and the tough times, and sharing each other's hopes, dreams, and disasters. Anne and Ryan, you've been together for over 10 years and have now decided to make your love official. You're getting married because in each other you have found the most perfect person to share the rest of your life with. You both admire marriages where the couple have a strong bond and show each other unwavering love and support in everything they do. This is what they wish for in their own marriage together. Anne, Ryan loves everything about you and has done since the moment he met you. You're his soulmate and he is excited to be your husband. Ryan, Anne loves your generous nature and your kind heart. She already feels like she's married to you, but can't wait to spend the rest of her life with you as husband and wife. Anne and Ryan met by chance, but have made a choice to be here today, to pledge their love for each other. They have each found someone who enhances them, who makes them think, makes them smile, and makes every day brighter. Up until today, they have been best friends, but from this day forward, their wedding day, there'll be something even more special than that. And do you take Ryan to be your best friend and your faithful partner in life, love and adventure? I do. Ryan, do you take Anne to be your best friend and your faithful partner in life, love and adventure? I do. You've chosen special vows to promise to one another to vow to be together forever. Anne, if you'd like to go first. I, Anne, take you, Ryan, to be my husband. I promise to be patient with you support you, honour you, love you even when we may disagree on what to watch on TV, particularly footy or your love for beer. I promise that I will feed you really, really well so that you are my tubby <laughs> and be your ultimate travel buddy and pretend to listen when you talk about Tesla and I cannot wait to continue this crazy, amazing journey with you by my side. I love your kind, gentle soul. You really are one of my I'm so happy to have found you that night in Sorrento. I know you didn't have the ball to approach me. <laughs> you have made me such a better person. And you're so good to Lion and Yoshi. You are my best friend. I 
know I may not say it often, but I truly love you. <clears throat> All right, Ryan, take you in to be my wife. My darling, do you remember the first week we met? I told you I'm going to marry you. And here we are 10 years later. You are definitely the better half. You complete me. I knew from the day I met you, you were going to become my soulmate for life. You always make me strive and push me to my limits, and I love you for that. I promise to keep you warm when you are cold. You are truly one in a trillion. I can't wait to grow old with you. I love you now and forever. Everyone here today, as well as the mountains and the sky, have heard the vows you've made to one another. Your carefully chosen words were said with love, but will now be carried away by the wind. You've chosen to exchange rings to act as a visible symbol of these vows you've made here today. I believe Kira and Angelique are doing a wonderful job of looking after your rings. Yeah. Of my promises to you, and a reminder of my devotion to you. I'm honoured to call you my husband. <laughs> Joel, you have the other ring? Let this ring be a symbol of my promises to you. And a reminder of my devotion to you. I'm honoured to call you my wife. I think that's how their fingers have grown. It's not right. It's These rings will always be a reminder of today, your wedding day. They reflect the commitment you have made and will inspire hopes and dreams for your future together. When people look at your hands and notice the rings that you wear, they will know that you're bound to someone special and that special someone is bound to you. With the exchange of these rings and promises you've made to each other, it's a great pleasure I can now pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal your marriage. Have your bubbles ready. 
And so it is now with a huge smile I can officially introduce for the first time ever the newly married Mr. and Mrs. Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> One step at a time. Beautiful, guys. This is lovely. Thank you. And then we walk around to the champagne tower. Yep. Are you traveling? Yep. Yeah. You're right. I'm gonna pull this around. Yeah. Are we actually pouring this, are we? Yeah. Oh my god. Just from the top. I had a, I had a ride. Easy, babe. Easy, 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 easy. I made it ugly. I'll just pretend I'm still here. All right, a lot of people are going to miss out on champagne now. Top that up. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Thank you. Well done, that was really good. I didn't realize sort of. it was so slow. <laughs> <laughs> like this or closer? Yep. When your legs don't work like they used to before, and I can't sweep you off of your feet. Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheek? Darling, I will be loving you till we're 70. And baby, my heart could still fall out. Just 
Kiss me under the light of a thousand 